Hey, good morning, Intermediate Algebra students. Today, um, we're doing the Khan Academy Defining Appropriate Quantities for Modeling. And it just so happens, um, I found the same exact uh, base starting point. So, uh, meaning I found this one right here used in two separate questions. So, it worked out quite well. So, um, first one is, you can see we have two websites that Charlotte owns. Charlotte owns website A that has five writers. Um, there are 110 posts per month, 100 words per post, 3,500 likes per post, 500 um, comments per post, and so on and so forth per, um, on each of these. Then website B, we have this many, we have 11 writers, so twice as many writers, uh, number of posts, and then so on and so forth. Um, so we have to answer some questions based on this. Charlotte wants to know which website has more user engagement um, per single dollar expense. So when they say single dollar expense, that means we have to divide by expenses. So no matter what, when we get to this, it's something divided by expenses. And if you think about it, for engagement, um, someone who's engaging in this website is someone who's either liking a post um, or it's... Um, or it's comments per post. So it's either likes per post or the comments. That's the people who engage in this website. So when we go down here and we look at, it says choose two answers. Uh, well, first of all, they need to be divided by expenses. So this one is, and this one is, this one is not, and this one is not. So if we wanna know that, uh, let's see, total number of comments divided by expenses yep that works and total number of likes divided by that so that works perfect so for this one it would be b and d then it has a second part to this question determine which website has more user engagement per single dollar expense okay so what you need to do is you would take uh, average number of likes per post divided by twenty thousand, and average number of comments divided by twenty thousand. And then for website B, same thing. This divided by the 47,000, and this total up here by 47,000. In this case, it turns out that, um, yes, according to both definitions, website A has more user engagement per dollar, which makes sense. You know, they both have basically the same user engagement, yet the cost for website A is far cheaper. The one for B is far more expensive. So these guys are getting more user engagement both ways. Now, second question that I popped up actually had the exact same setup. So we go with the same setup, only this time, um, they did, I'm sorry, I should have blocked this part out. I did not, so let me see if I can pull that up quick, hold that up here, or at least block it out of view. Boom, boom, okay. This part was not a part of the question B. So boom, we'll just cancel that part out right there. They wanted to know on this one, Charlotte wants to know which website produces a larger amount of content per single writer. So your content is how many posts you post and how many words per post. So how, how much work are the writers doing? How much content are they doing? And that's per single writer, so that's per the number of writers. Okay, well, we've got posts divided by writers, and we've got words divided by writers, again, per writer. So per writer is going to be average number of posts per writer, A, average number of words per writer, C. So A and C would be that same thing. Total number of words, and that these two are A, B, and D are not divided by the writer, so that doesn't work. Then... <coughs> Excuse me. Which one div, um, produces a larger amount of content per single writer? Uh, so, if we look at this, for number of posts per writer, we take 110 divided by 5 is about 22. And over here, we take 200 divided by 11, which is, what's that, about 18 point something. So, whatever that comes out to be, about 18. So, in this one, you're getting 22 versus about 18. So, this one here would be a larger thing. Then, second part, it asks, oh, how much, how many words are we getting? Now, it's not number, average number of words per post, it's 
total words divided by writers. So you got to multiply these two together. 110 posts. Each post has 100 words in it. So what does that come out to be? About uh, what, 100 and, or 11,000. So you take that 11,000 divided by 5. It's about 2,200 words per writer that they're producing. At the same time, we've got these two. We've got 200 posts. Each post is about 170 words long. So what does that come out to be? About uh, 34,000. And then you take that 34,000 divided by 11. 34,000 divided by 11. Well, it's a little over 3,000 per post. So you have, for website A, you've got about 2,000 per post. Website B, you've got about 3,000 per post. So if it's number of posts per writer, A is greater. If it's number of words per writer, then B is greater. So this one would be uh, C, that the definitions have opposite results. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, good luck on this one. And see me if you need help during my office hours. Have a good day. Bye-bye.